Okay. Hi everyone. Uh, today I'm going to do a complete listening mock test and I'm going to show you how to answer all these questions uh, the way I've explained in my video and how to manage the time for all these questions and some tricks and tips. Okay. So let's start with the test. Okay. Um, so this is the headset check. You can always play and check the volume of your headset. Natural selection is a very complex phenomenon. And it okay, so it's good enough. And um, uh, don't worry if you don't uh, change it over here. You can always later change the volume of uh, the recordings in these questions. Okay, let's click next. This is the keyboard, which is fine. Okay, next. Okay, so these are the instructions. And if you want to take a look at the instruction, take your time. Okay, I'm just going to click next and start the test. Okay. 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 In this question, I'm going to type directly into the box, but you don't have to. You can always take the notes and then write the summary later. How many species of cockroach are known till date? Almost 30 species of cockroach are known. Among the known ones, the American cockroach is 30 millimeters long. The German and the Asian cockroach are 15 millimeters long. The tropical cockroaches are bigger, and the oriental cockroach is about 25 millimeters. Carboniferous and Permian are extinct species. They were so big that they were called pests instead of insects. I read somewhere that termites have evolved directly from cockroaches. Possibly. This is because cockroaches found in Russia and China are wood-eating. Otherwise, they are omnivores. Which climate are they found in? They are found generally in tropical and subtropical climates. In our houses, they are found around garbage or in the kitchen. That's because they get a lot to eat there. So all right, so the lecture was mainly about the cockroaches and their different species. Okay, so I'm going to start writing the, the summary. Okay, so I'll start with the introduction. The lecture was mainly about okay, cockroaches. Okay, so yeah, you got to know the spelling of the cockroaches, otherwise you, you'll lose marks. So. Okay, so in the beginning the speaker covered many topics which include okay so i guess this was 30 species of cockroaches okay american cockroaches are 30 millimeter long but i think i should go with uh, I will write American cockroaches American and I will write American and Asian cockroaches okay I am not going to write 30 millimeter long and you can write okay always okay I think that should be enough uh, okay so tropical to the next uh, line over here in addition we also discussed other aspects such as I think I'll take this oriental cockroaches over here uh, see and oriental cockroaches aspects such as extinct species pets insects termites termites are the cockroaches like you know the small creatures that we find in our house they normally eat wood 
okay russia china okay make sure you make capital r and capital c because they are names uh, she said that cockroaches found in russia and china are wood eating animals but i have just write wood eating and omnivorous animals okay now finally the speaker said that mm, subtropical cockroaches are generally found in kitchen okay she said that we find normally uh, the cockroaches we find normally in kitchen because they okay, they can find food there the garbage in kitchen because of food okay that's simple okay okay that's that's 69 words so which is perfect which is just under the limit of 70 words let's check now the our summary you can see if he did make any grammatical or spelling mistakes Okay, that's correct. Please, insects, termites, <coughs> Russian China, wood eating, wood eating, and omnivorous animals. Finally, the speaker said that subtropical cockroaches are generally okay. Yeah, it looks okay to me. Okay. Still, we got almost two minutes and forty seconds left. In the test, you can. Uh, there is no need to click next and move on to the next question because the time that you save from here will not be carried forward to the next question. So you can take as much time as you need. Okay, use all the entire ten minutes to check and recheck your answer. You can always find some mistakes. Okay, for uh, this video, I'm now going to click next because I think I have checked everything. So I'm just going to move on to the uh, next question. <coughs> okay, so this is yeah multiple choice, multiple answer. Okay, make sure you always read the questions first because very important. Then you need to know what you are going to listen to in the recording. Okay, and listen to the recording very carefully. During World War II, the island of Guam was occupied by the Japanese military. Soon after, the island was freed by the U.S. forces in 1944. Brown tree snakes appeared. It is thought they made their way through an American cargo ship. For the predatory snakes, which grow up to 8 feet in length, Guam was a food-filled paradise. As they feasted on the island's defenseless native animals, their population exploded, reaching peak density of 20-plus snakes per acre of jungle. These snakes wiped 10 out of 12 native forest birds off the island. The killing of birds triggered a domino effect. Without birds to spread tree seeds, the forests thinned out. Meanwhile, populations of spiders, which had previously been kept in check by birds, surged. The problem didn't stop there. The snakes also climbed from trees to electrical lines, causing frequent power outages. Today, 
Although snake control measures heavily suppress them in key areas, there are thought to be over 2 million of these nocturnal predators on the island. Okay, what problems did the snake cause on the island? I think uh, they did not leave any predators alive on the island. No, they killed the birds which had had the... I think this was correct. They killed the birds. Okay, no, the, no. This one is definitely wrong. The cause we call it because they climb on the... Yeah, that was there. Oh, spiders. No, spiders. They didn't spike. Actually, spiders grew because of the... There were no birds. Okay, so definitely these three, these two has to be correct because they are at least two correct. Okay. Okay, I'm going to click next. Move on to the next question. Okay, this is listening. Fill in the blanks. Let's listen to it very carefully. Again, I'm going to type directly into the boxes, but you don't have to. You can always take the notes and later type into the boxes. You just imagine the benefits of a machine like Robotic Grass Cutter that can mow large amounts of grasslands in no time. Earlier, this work could never be done without employing one driver each for a tractor. Research is being carried out at the Warwick Manufacturing Group to make these grass cutters function in an autonomous manner. There is a project on developing multiple grass mowers which would be eventually controlled by a computer and work independently. I must say that the one robot I particularly found to be fantastic was the milker. Isn't it a really fantastic idea to have a cow milked by a robot? This robot involves several techniques like a laser locator, suction tubes, and vacuum activated rubber rings. The milk is automatically stored in a refrigeration tank made of aluminum. There certainly have been revolutionary achievements in this field in the past few decades as the work in this direction began only as far back as 1980s at farm machinery laboratories of various universities. Okay. I didn't hear this one over here. Okay, vacuum is correct, revolutionary, uh, grass, there is a project on developer. Mm. Okay, so this one is uh, definitely I didn't get it, I think it should be. I would write it was something from M. Okay. Well, I would write cutters because I think here's cutters. Okay, never mind. So, uh, fantastic. the spelling of fantastic, I'm pretty sure it's correct. Okay, robotic, fantastic vacuum, revolutionary. Okay, let's click next. Uh, what is a little magazine? Uh, it is, uh, well, very often they were big. Uh, you know, uh, big in, in format uh, and size. Um, they were little because their circulation was small. Uh, these were the funded on a shoestring uh, magazines that uh, uh, rose up and, and very frequently faded away just as quickly uh, in the 1910s and 1920s. Uh, and that were in many cases, the first avenue of publication for Stevens, Eliot, uh, Moore, uh, the poems, poets that you will be reading in this class. These magazines were uh, acutely uh, aware of their differences from the popular literary magazines of the 19th century. Uh, the general interest uh, popular magazines of the 20th century, uh, magazines with wide circulation, polite audiences. Uh, the little magazine was uh, written to by, addressed to new young writers and artists, uh, and they were determined to make trouble. Okay. 
ओके द फर्स्ट आंसर इज सर्कुलेशन इन दस ओके द स्पेलिंग इज गिवन ओवर हियर सो यू कैन समटाइम्स फाइंड द स्पेलिंग इन द टेक्स इट सेल्फ सो ओके थिंक सर्कुलेशन ओके दिस वाज फेडेड दैट्स करेक्ट एवेन्यू एड्रेस्ड एड्रेस्ड अवेयर आई थिंक सर्कुलेशन इज स्टिल रॉन्ग माय बैड ओके सर क्यू लेशन ऑल राइट ओके दिस सेम स्पाइंस ओके लेट्स क्लिक नेक्स्ट मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ओके दिस इज हाईलाइट करेक्ट समरी अगेन यू विल हैव टू बी वेरी कंसंट्रेट ऑन द रिकॉर्डिंग ओके अर्लियर The simplest way to protect feet was to grab what was handy, a bark, large leaves, and grass, and tie them under the foot with vines. In hot countries, this developed into the sandal made from woven palms, grass, or plant fibers, and attached to the foot with toe loops. Examples of early sandals have been found in Japan, Polynesia, and America. It is known that early man used the skins of slaughtered animals for clothing. He eventually discovered how to tan and preserve them. In cold countries, shoes were made from animal skins to give better protection and keep the feet warm. A piece of treated skin with holes punched around the edge was put under the foot and laced with a leather strap that acted as a drawstring to hold the shoe in place around the foot. This was an early example of the moccasin. All right. Okay. I think the animal skins was used to make clothes. Sandal shoes. So I started the grass and fiber and ended up with animal skins. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll go with the fourth one. Okay, you make sure you don't have to give so much time because these questions don't uh, carry much weight. the what lecture is mainly about okay the single answer multiple choice single answer how do we come to know that a person is suffering from bulimia there are certain symptoms that characteristically define a bulimic most of the bulimics overeat and then indulge in compensator behaviors like vomiting using laxatives etc to flush out the food that they have eaten this they do to remove the calories that they have consumed some use a combination of all forms of purging while some restrict themselves to a few now there is a problem with diagnosing bulimics mostly what happens is that bulimics perform these purging and binging behaviors in secrecy and are able to maintain an average or above average body weight because of which they are considered to be having normal eating habits they can successfully hide their problem for years these purging and binging behaviors can range from once or twice a week to several times a day It is also common that bulimics will diet heavily between these binging and purging behaviors. Hence, half of the people with anorexia may develop bulimia as well. Okay, so she was talking about some kind of disorder in the person eats a lot. Uh, I think uh, one. I think is either second or the fourth one. Characteristic of bulimics, binging and purging cycles. They were definitely there. Mm-hmm. Okay, 
things i think is mainly about the characteristic okay i'll go with this one okay click next <coughs> okay this is select missing word okay okay make sure you listen to the recording from the very beginning <coughs> Tsunami is a series of huge waves that can cause great devastation and loss of life when they strike a coast. The waves are generally caused by an underwater earthquake, a volcanic eruption, submarine rock slide, or more rarely, by an asteroid or meteoroid crashing into water from space. Most tsunamis are caused by underwater earthquakes but not all underwater quakes cause tsunamis. An earthquake which is over the magnitude of 6.75 on the Richter scale Okay, this may cause tsunami. Okay, the quake which is about 6.7 on Richter scale may cause tsunami. Okay, okay. another one. Bookkeeping is the subject that keeps a record of all financial transactions done by either an individual or an organization of any sort and size. While keeping record, one has to have a detail of all that is bought or sold, owned or owed, inflow or outflow of money, besides keeping the record of the available balance with the individual or the company. That is interesting. And what are the various methods involved in bookkeeping? There are two common methods that an organization or business adopts. The first kind, that is single entry bookkeeping system, uses the detail of only the income and expenses and is an ideal method to be adopted by small businesses. And the double entry system, on the other hand, one has to write each transaction twice, that is using that is using. think debits and credits <clears throat> okay let's click next move on to the next question okay highlight incorrect words okay these questions are really very challenging okay concentration is the key the forward basic movement for salsa starts with a tap left on the first beat a step forward on the same foot a rock back onto the right foot, and the sequence is finished by stepping back left to close. This forward basic movement is followed by the back basic movement. Tap right, step back right, rock forward left, and close right. Generally, the woman always mirrors the man's steps. So, while the man performs a forward basic movement, the woman performs a back basic movement and vice versa. Throughout the world, there are variations on how the basic movements for salsa are performed, and there is also much controversy over which beat of the music you should break on, that is, change direction, forward, back or side. Okay, so let's click next. Okay, another one. Now, how was the wheel actually invented? What inspired man to invent the wheel? Well, this was all not sudden. It was a gradual change. Earlier humans did not have any methods to move heavy loads, except for lifting them. However, man discovered that heavy things could be moved more easily if a round thing, like a tree trunk, was placed underneath it, so that the load could be rolled over it. Another way that humans found to move heavy objects was to use the sledge. Humans prized that a sled could be dragged to move a heavy load. When a sled and a wedge were put together, it led to the invention of the sledge. Okay, right from dictation, last three questions.
In physics, we are bound to use scientific concepts. Okay, so I didn't write in physics because I remembered it, so I wrote the rest of the sentence. So in physics, we are bound to use scientific concepts concept science scientific cons in physics in physics we are bound to use scientific concepts okay so yeah it looks all right okay let's click on the next two Very few inputs influence the U.S. economic system as much as oil prices. Okay, very few influence influence American as much as oil prices Okay, I think I forgot what was American economic system. Okay, that was not very good. I forgot what was American. I think it was American economic system as much as oil. Okay, very few inputs influence American economic system as much as oil prices. <laughs> Okay, very few inputs influence okay. system. Okay, going to click next and move on to the last questions of this test. The emergence of internet endangers the readership of print media. The emergence of internet endangers the of print media. Readership, sorry, okay. The readership, readership of print media, okay. The emergence of internet emergence of internet endangers the readership okay so endangers the readership of print media okay the emergence of internet endangers means it puts into the danger it's a verb okay endangers because this is a third person singular the emergence of internet endangers the readership of print media okay just in case if you don't know about the you know the things like where to put s or not the you always look for the grammar because the sentences they are given for either right from dictations or the <coughs> repeat sentence they are always grammatically correct okay so you can always say okay here it should be s because of the this is the subject which is third person singular
emergence i think a bit it's wrong my bad it's emergence uh, i'm pretty sure the emergence Mm. Yeah, it should be E or I'm pretty sure okay it's E emergence of in endangers endangers the readership readership of print media. Okay. <clears throat> okay, let's uh, finish the test now and and we'll see the how much score we got uh, and we'll do the analysis and see the correct answer if there are any wrong okay so let me click here all right so we got 84 so okay it's a pretty good score okay now let's check what we got in percentage terms in each question type so summarize spoken text we got 90 percent in that question type okay and uh, okay multiple choice okay we got them correct both of them so it's 100 percent fill in the blanks okay something went wrong because we didn't get 100 percent okay we'll see highlight correct summary again it's correct multiple choice single answer they are correct select missing word they are all correct okay but we didn't get we lost the marks in importance question one is here fill in the blanks and other highlight incorrect words and write from dictation all right so let's see what we did wrong in those three questions particularly okay okay so here are the questions uh, this was the summary and okay so this software has its own method to <clears throat> score the summary so i'm not going directly into it Anna, you just check your grammar and spelling and it should be fine okay so Thing that was okay so this is the fill in the uh, I think this is the first one no this is the first one this is the first question in the fill in the blanks okay this answer answer wave these are correct answer these are mine answer robotic okay mowers definitely it was wrong mowers I didn't get it okay mowers is the mower lawn mower the the machine that you use to cut the grass in your lawn okay okay all others are they are correct okay we lost marks for that one incorrect answer okay so here these are all green that means they are 100 percent correct so i'm going to move on to the okay uh, sorry about that okay let's go to number nine this is highlight incorrect words so all right okay this one i missed this one all other all others are correct so i first feed So if you want to listen to the recording again, you just go back to the video and listen to the recording. Okay. All right, I'm going to see the next one. This is again highlight incorrect words. Yes, and the words that we have clicked, they are all correct, but we missed two. Okay, except for definitely this except is that was another except. Except means E X C E P T E. So definitely I missed that except lifting them okay and tagged okay so i missed two of them okay and let's see this one is right from dictation which is definitely 100 percent correct so here is the correct answer in physics okay here the p is capital i'm not sure why physics is name of the subject but i think it shouldn't be capital we don't make first word capital in name of this subject is biology or chemistry okay but never mind uh, i'm given the correct answer okay second one all right so this is the correct one okay very few inputs influence american economic system as much as oil prices very few input influence okay i'm sorry i totally missed it it was us not american so i totally missed it okay not american it was us economic system as much as oil prices okay okay never mind 
the last one is uh, yes 100% correct the emergence of internet endangers the readership of print media okay so that was the analysis uh, that was the complete analysis with scores okay i hope you learned from this video and how to answer the questions which questions are important which carries more weighted than others so okay i'm uh, going to end this video now and please please make sure you subscribe to my channel and uh, i'm going to upload a few more videos of the mock test in the future so make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss those videos okay so goodbye i'll see you in the next video